Welcome everyone to another Friday evening, Friday night fights with yours truly, crispy, crispy, oh so crispy nuts and kirkins, especially after uh, especially after last the first episode of Friday night fights where oh I got crisped a lot, a real lot. I got I got messed up pretty good, really bad. What? Here we are another Friday. Uh, I'm gonna do as best as I can uh, tonight on tonight's stream. I'm gonna do my best, but the last, you know, 36 hours have been uh, long. I'm doing this for you guys, the ones that will watch, the ones that follow. So you have something, something, you know, something to watch. It, it may not be the best content, but hey, it's something I have on in the background when you're doing pick Tyson Fury. Even easier. Uh, this week, uh, UFC Fight Night. Uh, uh, I think they're in, Los in the Apex again. Up next, um, it's a UFC I'm not gonna lie. Off the top of my mind, the only people I knew here are uh, uh, Makachev and Bobby Green, but it's good though. They're getting, you know, I, I enjoy cards like these. You get to watch people you normally don't get to watch. All right, so we got so. two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the eye. Right, 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 right. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Nice Go get shot, him. Man. Oh! Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Oh! Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Then Bobby Green. Bobby Green has kind of been a, a oh, journeyman. Nice by him there to slip that offering. Wow. Oh, <laughs> huge right yeah. hand. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Big knee there to the chest. Oh, straight right. He's hurt bad. Oh. But yeah, Bobby Green, he's been a wildly vet. He's been very fun as of late. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. So. Nice punch by Tyson So. I'm walking right in that. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little rusty. So, there's, there's that. Big kick lands. Punch coming, it's blocked. Tagging so. with the uppercut. Back and forth we go here. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Man, it's almost like he's got a range. Oh. He's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Ah, oh, that jab hurt him. Oh, big left hook there. Whoa! Damn. And just I was, like that, I was really off that one. He got him! Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel. And that's probably um, as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just yeah, a uh, shot it's... to end the fight. Crowd absolutely There's a lot of Makachev. It's a, it's a dangerous guy. Anybody that's trained by Khabib is a... It's a dangerous person, so it's definitely to watch out for that one. But I'm not gonna lie, I don't think I've really had much time to really study these people. I've heard of uh, Priscilla Cocachera, a Brazilian. I've heard of her before. I've seen a, uh, a fight of hers before. I, I forget how she won last time, but I think it was. Uh, I've, I've seen uh, Nunes before. 
That's uh, that's about it. You know, it's good to see. It's good to see the fights like this. You know, average people. Maybe, who knows? Maybe we get put on this this uh, card. Who knows? But uh, right now let's let's beat the hell out of uh, O'Malley. Maybe this guy's a good guy, but uh. Good old Mali. But the one thing that Aldo has better than a Mali is uh, power. Knockout mode. Uh, I was going on like it was a real fight. Oh, hold on a second. Whatever. I forgot about knockout mode. <laughs> Not one of my favorite. We'll take it. Take that L. Ah, uh, whatever. Yeah, it's gonna be entertaining. Maybe we uh. Maybe somebody shows out on us. Who knows? Yeah, let's, let's go to MMA so we can have some stupid fun. This guy gonna pick Izzy? Of course he's gonna pick Izzy. Why not? Why not? Why not pick Izzy, you know? It's gonna be fun. Coming up next, we get to this UFC middleweight division fight. Is that a John Jones thing? I forget who that is. All right, so here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? 
continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. But now Adesanya mixing it up a little bit. We'll see what he can offer on the canvas. I mean, he can do it all. He's long told us that he has a great ground game. Nobody has forced him to use it yet. Let's see what he does with this position. Nope, get back. Body kick lands. Yeah, eat my feet. Just out of range with that strike. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Look at yeah, how we're both launching it into that leg kick. Nice head kick. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Mixes it off. What Keep it simple. Wow. Back to the feet. Knee, knee. The body. That'll soften him up. He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. <laughs> 25 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. <laughs> <laughs> for his opponent who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming so just the way he drew it up exactly what he told us during fight week played out here on fight night he found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barge right here now That's... Bruce Buffer with the official decision come on where's my person's chin <laughs> what the hell let's see if this person wants for rematch I guarantee not I was joking about doing my shot out. I should have won that fight. It is what it is. Well. Ah. Oh, I have it wet. short so he's gonna have the speed great I don't know what I'm gonna do with this fight for success in the first one see how it, see how it goes Of course, just wait for that. Let's do that naked. <laughs> you can't wrestle me, bitch. 
Oh, he got me down. Okay. Come on. Right, right to the tummy. Right to the tummy. Come on. Right to the leg. Come on. Are you kidding? Are you... Are you kidding? What the freak? My guy has no chin. Do they like, do they not block the head? The fuck? What up, Michael? Man, I, I am extremely slow right now. I was doing pretty good. The only advantage I have is, uh, that was my height, man. I'm just really slow. That's what happens when you get enough sleep. <laughs> uh, sure, I got my I got my ass handed to me again for a little while again. It's after this uh, next fight. Uh, all right, it's this guy's uh, early. Uh, I guess John Cena wannabe, uh, but yeah, it's gonna be some good sleep after this. Uh, there's that. <clears throat> Are you ready? We slow split. Mr. John Cena wannabe, old school. Right, the kneecap that probably hurt me more. I like small feet. Come on. Perfect. This guy's moving as slow as slow as me right now. I feel adequate to fight. Owie. I kicked him in his wee wee. wee. Oh, I thought I'm gonna grab away that foot. Look like two of us out here with the elbows.
Okay. Get a little grimy in there towards the end of the round. My little body. Uh, I am. I am not in the sharpest mind right now. Everything's just moving at tenth of the speed. I thought I was low last, slow last week. Give his control to somebody else. gloves feeling like I kind of know what I'm doing in a fight <sighs> he really spam moves it's going back down Got you on the ground, though. Ooh, that was the... St the, st the stiffest I've ever hit somebody with that uppercut. And I'm done. And down. Done. Holy sh... You, s you survive... You survive that? Survive that all that, but you get but you get knocked in one punch. Maybe Nuts and Kirkin isn't the strongest. Uh, maybe, uh. Maybe showboat isn't the best. Who knows? Thought I had a little fun, you know? Let's get my ass beat for about a half an hour. I saw something yesterday on, on Paul Felder, so. Uh. 
Let's have a little bubble ball filter. Why not? We. That's well, I saw our appreciation bumps from the UFC for two It's Felder a lightweight bout between Justin Gaethje and Paul Felder. You ready? Are you ready? Yeah, some type of appreciation right, post. One started here. Round one is underway. And we've got a striker who oh. is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is. And this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. So. A big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Lands an outside leg kick of his own. So. Big right hand there. But, yeah, off of Paul Felder. Uh, I think the highest he ever got was rank six or something like that. Punch is blocked. I don't. Uh, I, I really can't think right now. So. Oh, straight right. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Both oh! Nice. But yeah, I don't remember much uh, right, right now about Fall Filter. Wish I could, but. It's a good commentator. Well, that's a sign of things to come as he lands a so. kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. Oh! Oh, yes. Now we're going. So. Oh, and he caught the kick. So. Checks the leg kick. Visibly limping here. The strikes continuing to pile up. 27 total strikes now for so. Justin Gage. Yeah. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Nice. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially. So. But now it yeah. has been found. Paul Felder was fun been to watch by the fights that I did. This octagon tonight. Well, it's about as appropriate a nickname as we have in MMA. The highlight, Justin Gaethje, and he has found his range early tonight. Going to the body now with that hook. Well placed there by Gaethje. Gaethje gets caught by the straight so. punch. Yeah. Nice punch, Lynn. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Punch coming, it's blocked. Well. And he landed the right hand there. Combination yeah. lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. Oh. Oh. He's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to so. press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Yeah. That was a jab. Some real power shots here. Just out of range with the big right hand. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the no, world across don't touch all my head. combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tuck to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back yeah, to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a tie bowl class or something like that. Yeah. Oh, collar tie. And there comes the separation now. Ooh, big shot land. Yeah, a little aggressive here. Oh, beautiful jab there from Gaethje, who just might be the most watchable fighter in the UFC today. It's so fun to call a Justin Gaethje fight. People think he's reckless. People think he's a wild man. Oh. But Trevor Whitman has him locked in. His technique is beautiful when he strikes. Good jab. Nice body kick there. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. All right, no, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent right said he was ready for it, but it doesn't appear to be. You're not ready? Punch lands. That's as good a punch as he's thrown all night. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that lands perfect. And that one landed perfect. 
Man is... Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, huge kick to the body. That can't feel good. Oh! Oh, big left hook there. Oh! Both of these gentlemen are putting it on the line. He's throwing every part of himself into... Starting to do some really Come significant on. damage to the body here. Another strike oh. lands there. Get that one back. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Hey. Big knee. No. Round two coming up. Better. That, that, that's the fastest I've moved all night. But also, I haven't said one word. I'm trying to, trying to give you a good fight to watch or rewatch back. See if you made any mistakes somewhere. I know I've made a few, but I'm a bit tired on it. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, nice and yeah, uh, he needs to start looking to finish now because the, he's got his the downhill's coming. Oh, big left hook there. Yeah, here comes here comes the downfall. He's hurt bad. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually... Oh, big knee! Oh, he's hurt that bad. knee is just... Bad, John. He's got... Wow! Oh, that's... That's embarrassing. He's out! Holy smokes! What a fight! Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to that's end the fight. That's Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. So can't Let's get past the second round. The official decision is in. It. Well, it's only up here from that or downhill. Damn, not going to get a better performance from that for me tonight. <laughs> I used Paul Felder better than I thought I would. I mean, it's not that hard to use a kickboxer. It's easier to chain in moves. Uh. Mm. Oh, is it the zombie that's going next against? Oh, Frankie Edgar. I could I could have chose him uh, against uh, Favor. Where is he? If you're gonna do Favor, I'll, where is he? I'll do a classic matchup. Take part. We're here to take over. Oh, Guida.
All right, coming up next, it's a featherweight matchup between Clay the Carpenter Guida and Frankie Edgar. Did I use Edgar in the bantamweight list? I mean, look how big Guida is. Guida's now dealing with a cheat cut. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, his opponent's I'm just gonna, like a fish out of water now. I'm the just going to keep this wrestling realistic this if, if, well you're, if you are listening. You know, be not spamming game. moves or anything like that. Some just really good some transitions here and there, you know. Is as good as any you've ever seen. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Oh, no. I didn't mean to do that. I'll let you get a free. I'll let you get a free uh, move on that. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Just a slip there. Nice punch there by Guido. Edgar continues to circle. So just over 20 total strikes and counting have landed for Frankie Edgar. Oh, there we go. Cut. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Yeah. Edgar's looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, he lands another hook there. He's already landed several in the round. That one might have been the cleanest of the bunch. He turned his chin, made his chin touch his shoulder with that beautiful right. hook. He really got all of himself into that hook, pivoted off the right hand, Big left hook lands. What a great punch. Two minutes here to go in round one. And they separate. Good punch. I mean, look how big we is. This <laughs> big left. I mean, he's, he's not much. Just misses with the jab there. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Now he's got over on it. Whiffs on that offering. Shot a double leg. Oh, he slams him down with authority. Edgar's pass attempt denied. Guida gets back up again. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And air oh, late defense. Oh, nice. Scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. Well, if you are a young striker, you could do a lot worse than watching this guy work on the feet, perhaps trying to set up another hook here. Yes, he is. He's definitely trying to set up another hook. You could tell by his eyes. He's taking peeks. He's sneaking looks at where he needs his opponent to be in order to land. Wow. Nice move to punch. 
Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Now, oh, how about the transition to the ankle pick? Now we will see where he goes from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. He might have won this round still, because I think he got knocked down. Or He's looking to land the right just out of range. Oh! I'm just doing what exactly what it was. DC take us through the replays. Punch after punch. He landed him but at will. It's, I think it's, right I think it's your opponent. round because you got a rocker too. And showed, this is my octagon. Well, I'm just trying to do the best uh, Frank Yeager. Just wrestle till, your, till time runs out. I think we just move my All right, so. here we go with round two. Nice kick. Oh, Edgar comes in, lands, and now he gets out. This is a hard guy to get. Massive, massive hook land. And his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Whoa! Uh. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Edgar gets touched by that kick to the body. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, you can hear the crowd reaction every time he lands another hook. The previous round, it was hooks and bunches. More of the same here. More of the same, John. You watch a guy who's in a flow who's in a rhythm, who's in a position where they don't feel like they could ever miss that shot. And that's what we're witnessing tonight. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Guida. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. <laughs> Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Edgar's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Tags him with a flush left. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming, and when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Connects now with the one-two. All right, well, he's landed <laughs> some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece. There's no... Nicely done as he gets the double leg takedown. Edgar ground and pound from half guard. He is making these shots count. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Back to his feet. Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head. <sighs> now he has to find one more strike to end the night. All right, so another swing and a miss. And I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you got to find time. I mean, look how bad the agreement is to right Frankie. I know Frankie's short. It's the end is coming. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. Takedown. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Guida's cut is only getting worse, making a nice donation to the canvas tonight. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Switch, knee lands to the body. Both guys appeared to land there. Oh, another knee by Edgar. Uh, this is a. Uh, Gets tagged again on the inside. This and is a. He's got the tie clinch. This is a great Boy, demonstration of a... Uh, that knee might have landed there. 
Oh, nice knees by a man. He does not discriminate. He is throwing to all parts of the targets. And so nicely done with the trip there. Out of stamina. Under a minute now to go. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Nice hammer fist. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands yeah. being a veteran of so many fights. That as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Edgar's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Guida. Oh, guillotine. Why is he not recognizing this right now? Wow. That's a good reversal. But. 15 seconds. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Close guard, hammer fist here by Edgar. <laughs> and that's the end of round number two. All right, so a high level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here. Nice. And you gotta think the knockdown. Longest fight I've been with you. <laughs> I know you could end it a long time ago. You ready? Third round underway. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, and he can. Yeah. Man, it just looks like a middleweight compared to Edgar. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot made it perfect. Back to the feet now. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now as this fight goes on. He is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are going to count. Left punch is clean, followed by a right. All right, so a high amplitude double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was going to attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hip, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. Oh, working on another submission attempt here. Oh, he is showing off, man. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Guida gets up. He is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Ooh, head kick. Small my toes. Small toes. Coming, it's blocked. Oh, strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed upright. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. We oh, nice scramble by him there. Take Suplex City. He is a master in transition. Well, oh. oh, huge right hand. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. We He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. And he landed the right hand there. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. That's a good fix. Leg kick checked by Guido. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Ed. Kuita gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Well, he is really... 
really started to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. That's a big strike right there. Another big takedown. Edgar gets the single leg takedown. Nicely done there. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Guida. Oh, and he's back up again. There's no give. Uh, I'm sure in any moment you could, you're just going to load on me. Just misses there with the left. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. He went high on that one. <laughs> uh. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Oh, he's going to slam him, DC. Oh, man, he got that Whoa. single leg. He got that single leg. He lifted him in the air and he put him down. That is some serious power to pick up another man and promptly put him in his place. Big opportunity now for him here on the ground. Gets the elbow up into the target. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Final seconds of round three. Bonk, bonk, <laughs> bonk. That's three rounds of the next, next round you're ending me. Okay. I got his some stamina, and I don't know how I'm even making it this far. Right, so let us now check out some of the action in that Pretty much you're so letting me it, make it this far. Upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. You probably could have ended a fight two and a half rounds ago. This fight. Fourth round now. Fight schedule. Look how much stamina I got. You just have to come at me. Great punch landed with so much power. You probably gonna keep my hopes up to. Well, most fighters the end can't around, keep up this round type five. of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, that right hand is on point. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only out. is he accurate, I don't know why. he's also keeping very busy. Probably sleep deprivation, but my eyes are just not Throwing feeling that the best. jab now again, the fighter of eight. <clears throat> oh, there's oh. a takedown attempt. Unable to get the fight to the ground. Nice job by the opponent there. Nice job by the opponent, defending the takedown, but now he is going to have to mix it up again. The first shot will not work. He's got to go one, two, three at a time to try to overwhelm him, to give him too much to process to try to get this fight to the ground. Blocks the shot. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue on uh. the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Takedown defense holds up. Guida going for the takedown. He misses. Nice punch lands over the top. Back and forth we go. Quick level change. Oh, he went single, rotated here inside this dude's going for a ride. Oh. Nice big takedown. What a technique. What a takedown. Great high impact skill. You could feel the canvas reverberating here at the bottom. I mean, right there. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, it's like me the running personal. anywhere, John. <laughs> uh, that's right. Get the hook. Get the hook. Both hooks. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Nice. Nice. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Oh, working hard to get back up again, and he's there. Big diving punch lands. Oh, 
I don't know if you're actually doing that on purpose or not. Oh, it. it's, not it's not a good night. Guida gets caught with that punch. And there we go. He's out. Boom. <laughs> he's done. He's done. <laughs> yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel. Yeah. That's probably as That's good a close one because he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. He sent it inside the octagon once more. <laughs> Bruce Buck. Yeah, I mean, you got to make it a war with Clay Greta. I, uh, I'm, I'm doing my best. I'm trying to give you a couple more. I'm, just, I'm definitely trying to do my best. My body, my brain's failing me right now. So I'm good with Walter Waite. Uh, It's been a while since I used uh, Mike Perry. Let's see if I can remember his movements. Coming up next, a welterweight matchup between Jorge Masvidal. He was uh, and you were Mike up Perry. thirty to twenty six, yeah, because uh, you. I think I led on takedowns. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I remember when that when that all happened after his. Uh, a DNA test. <laughs> All right, so here we go as round one gets oh, underway. Two world class Mohawk level strikers. Platinum Perry was a best though. We're gonna get a kickboxing match here in the octagon. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. Beautiful combination there from Jorge Masvidal. What a year it was for him in 2019. You remember him back in the but, uh, day brawling. You were up 30, 26 yet because uh, now one of the biggest superstars I, in the UFC. If anything, I'd let on takedowns. Maybe control time, maybe not. But you definitely winning on on, on all the knockdowns. Yeah, I don't. He's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Yeah, I don't remember any of Mike Perry's moves. Oh, straight right. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fan. Quick entry to get man, in on a single. I'm not even doing that. I'm just letting that happen. Oh, my God. He switched the lock to a high crotch, rotated him, and took him for a ride. That was a big takedown. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting I don't remember back up. many of uh, Mike's moves. Went for the inside leg kick. Straight punch land. Oh, dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. And he lands a big left hand there. Oh, straight right. Yeah. You can definitely feel the speed difference from Perry. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy. Oh! Started. Oh, he's hurt. Yeah. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Look at him. Nice liver shot lands. Oh, big knee. He just put me on display. An uppercut in. I don't remember how to use fair. What some of his combos so are. Call on the fight stats here, I know he's a boxer. I know he's a boxer. <laughs> That's about it. Well, brawler. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Perry's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Nice defense there. Huge. That's not it. And just like that, the fight is over. Well, that was easy. I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the Bonk. win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent. Yeah. Now we go inside the oh. octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. It's been a while since I used Perry. Uh, but there was a time that I would use him. Is it UFC 2? 
uh, last year I know I used them a few times, but I think it's USC 2 that I used them a lot. No. I play this game once a week, maybe. No. To be honest, I'm just waiting for uh, Saints Row to come out. Ah, good old Ben. Uh, who should he go against? I'm trying to... Maybe Maya. I don't want to pair him against somebody too OP. Well, not overpowered, but... Yeah, I think uh, I'll do one of my uh, hometown heroes. <laughs> yeah, that was UFC 3. UFC 2 was so long ago, I don't remember who was in it. Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division match. So many games, yeah. I, I, I for, honestly, I can't remember. But apparently, you're yeah, you got a memory for UFC. I have too many other things. You ready to fight? All right, so here we go. Round one is underway. I can't wait to see how this fight plays out because he told us on Thursday. That despite his opponent's submission acumen, he's more than willing to engage him on the ground. A lot of times guys fight with their ego. They try to go and fight their opponent in their spot. Quick level change now. He went single into a high crotch. Oh, he's taking this dude for a ride. Oh, oh my god, he switched the uh, to Fun a fact, Mickey Gall wrestled with my brother in law. That was a big take in high school. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Goal gets up. He is back on the feet here. Straight and he was only on the wrestling team to learn. DC didn't because he was fighting at that time. Range here tonight, huh? His timing is on so. point. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick. Oh. These hands come from Ben. Serve him up. Go get him. We got him. Man, these guys are throwing back and forth. Ben asking with them hands. Big left. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> ben Huskin with these hands. Goal gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. And a nice job. At oh, oh a good old hip throw. DC. We'll see if he can capitalize from here. I mean, that was beautiful. The way that he took the underhook, stepped all the way across, and hit that hip toss. Ah! <laughs> I'm really going to lose to Ben Askren on the feet. Oh, big left hook there. Nice leg kick. Punch over the top. Oh, man. Oh, straight right. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, working hard to get back up again, and he's there. 37 total strikes have now landed for Ben Askren. Gall's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Clean left punch followed by the right. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, PC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Oh, you want to teach me a lesson with, with so boxing, Ben? 
big kick lands. Oh, yes, it is a lost art in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That thing's throwing right from the chin, too. Ooh. He's got him hurt here. Ben has a spinning. <laughs> no way. in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Started to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Real sneak Why are you just doing spin back for <laughs> Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Stuffs the take down there. How good is his His defense must defense? be 99. <laughs> Oh, he's just really oh, good at the nose. Oh, knee to the head. We'll see if he can follow up. Back to the jab now. No good. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Holy smokes! I'm disappointed. Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It could have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So near perfect execution uh. of the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. All right, let's re-rack the highlight now, yeah. DC, and he's certainly going to enjoy goal. watching this one back. The head kick was there ball. early, was there often, and ultimately nice ended the night for his opponent. The official decision is inside the octagon. Weird, no weird fact. Here it is. Uh. Yes. Oof. See, that's a fight I missed him against uh, uh, Damian Meyer. I uh, I fell asleep before them, before the fight. It's the only one I did watch. Uh, I'm just going to use somebody random. Yeah. Yeah. I know I'm going to get knocked out, but whatever. Uh, it's a weird thing when your body does when, when you work for so many hours on a little sleep. It's kind of crazy when you wake up from like a, a nap and have All right, shit. Coming up next, a welterweight tilt between Nate Diaz and Conor McGregor. You must watch every uh, fight night and UFC event. You have a good memory. Get my ass knocked out. For a third time, you got Nate Diaz versus Conor McGregor. The first two fights are great. John, <laughs> these slaps. Oh, what are these slaps? Payback from when I was doing them. Droves. I'm gonna work this fight for free, DC. I've decided tonight. I don't need a paycheck. I'll this. take the check. I will take the check. I'll take the money, John, if you're giving it away. But I would pay to watch these boys fight. All right, we'll see how it plays out. They are underway. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? They're certainly getting after it early. Nice connection there by Nate Diaz. Not a guy you want to let get going here on the feet, DC. No, because it's all downhill with Nate, right? It's the activity that will overwhelm his opponents, and this <laughs> looks like the start of that. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many oh. that. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, both, both landed. Oh! Not there. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by McGregor. And he caught the kick. 
Well, that's how you draw it up. Nice trip to secure the takedown. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Left hand punches the clinch. Great timing on that beautiful takedown. It's in there deep. There you go. Now you just showing off. In the fight. All right, right into side control. That's a grist. That's ground and pound. Yes, that was absolutely. a terrible accent. I and broke. you gotta look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine. But the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten him out and just go for the finish. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Diaz gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Some nice back and forth action here. <laughs> so we pull up the stats for you now. 32 total strikes have already landed for Nate Diaz. Oh, and there's another uppercut. DC, you got a pretty good uppercut. I'm not Signature sure. Signature Conor McGregor. It's not as good as this guy's. Uh. Oh, this fight's going to be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He did stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. <laughs> he's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh! Nice one, two there. Oh, single collar tie here. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. sure how many more of these his opponent can take massive shot that he landed great job all right the ref is going to step in here wasn't uh. enough action he lets him back up both of these gentlemen are putting it on the line going orthodox now with 90 seconds to go in round one Effective punch there by McGregor. Oh, head kick. Slips to avoid the right. Oh, man, look, the uppercut snaps his head back yet again. His coaches are livid. They've tried to give him the right messaging in terms of adjusting. He hasn't been able to execute. He's not listening. At times, a fighter I, I, will make a my, determination, even if it's not in their best interest to fight a certain way. That is what he's doing tonight, and he's definitely paying for it. Diaz gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by McGregor. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, collar tie. Bleeding over the left eye now. And he landed the right hand there. Back and forth we go. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. And they separate. Leg kick. Oh. Damn nice. Five minutes in the books. Well, I'm not sure uh. the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the <laughs> He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy. You're going to come out bullets in the, in the second round here. I get knocked out about four minute and a half. You ready to fight? Ready. Well, he's landed a few big uppercuts already. I will bet you $1,000 he sets it up again. You're not taking my money, J.A. That uppercut is coming. And when it lands, it's going to land and land very damaging. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a wow. lot of diverse strikes. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. 
What a fight we got going on here. Yeah, see. Connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Big body kick land. Conor McGregor gets caught with that. No, this might be no, the don't. biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly leg. Ooh-wee. Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. So 89 total strikes have landed for Conor McGregor. And landing with 59% accuracy against Nate Diaz. Wow, he actually got the takedown. Oh, nice job to get back up again. You don't want to hang out on the ground with this guy. Well, they made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Just misses there with the left. Great punch. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Diaz gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Just missed with the left there. Oh! What a fantastic strike. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt. Diaz back. can take about another 100 of those headshots. Oh, he might be out. Whoa! Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt. Oh. Holy smokes! He put him to sleep. Oh, there. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything. Oh. Like that. And just like that, the fight is over. Well. It's over. Oh, my goodness. A near perfect strike to end the fight. I got lucky on that. For his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big <laughs> And we go inside the octagon. <laughs> Bruce Buffer has your... I, I got lucky on that one. I, this, that's not happening. I thought... It's like you're... Almost like you let that happen to uh, build confidence, and then the next fight is going to be a different story. I mean, I need to take an aspirin or something. A few aspirin. Or heavyweight? Fuck it, we'll do heavyweight. Uh. Oh, I forget why Action Bronson's in this game. Middleweight, uh, Bruce Buffer. Oh. <laughs> <All right. sighs> Shit, if I would fit. All right, coming up next I've is played a this game matchup between three Bruce times a week or something. I've played you all the these boss. times. So definitely gets so much better at the game, but it's only once a week, maybe. Are you ready? Are you ready? Fight. And we are underway. Boss versus employee. Yeah. It's time. It's oh, oh, it's a right hand. <laughs> Next with a right. Efficient with that jab, doubles up on it now. Lands a big right hand early. That was a jab. Oh! Strong outside leg kick. Vicious combo there. Dana Pink. Whoa. He needs to start looking to 
finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Back to the feet. Oh, straight right. <laughs> he's out. He got him. <laughs> Either this is gonna go random, either this is gonna go extremely good or extremely bad. Coming up next, we get to a flyweight two oh, fuck, I don't know how to use Cejudo. And Henry, the messenger Cejudo. I don't know how to use Cejudo. the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? We back city. All right, so there's the early takedown. He told us on Thursday he didn't necessarily see a path to victory. If he couldn't get takedowns, that is certainly a good sign. Right away, he got the takedown. I don't believe they could have imagined that it would work so well so early. Great job. They're certainly getting after it early. <laughs> oh! oh, he's hurt bad. I don't know how to use Sergio. Kind of. Oh, big left. Well, he works his entire striking game off of that jab. Doubles up on the jab now. Oh, sleepy time. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice. Oh. Kick landed by this gentleman. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Big kick. Oh! Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall time in the past. Oh. Right in the nuts. Right in the nuts. Three minutes now to go in round one. Ah, we tower over you. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Formiga's gonna let his opponent stand up here. Wise choice. In fight numbers for you now. 29 total strikes have now landed for the Brazilian Juicy A Formiga. Oh, good sequence there. The right hand followed by the left. All right, so he finally gets the takedown here. He kept on trying, stayed committed. He told us before the fight, at some point, I'm going to be able to take him down, and that's exactly the way it played out. Some funny takedowns. Oh, back up again. 
Oh, thought he might have had that head kick, but just out of range. I really don't know. Okay, spin. Uh. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Holy smokes, he put him to sleep. One, one. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. So another swing and a miss, and I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you gotta find times to try to preserve that energy and, and get yourself back to a place where you can actually dole out some damage. Yeah, you got oh. And just like that, the fight is over. Triple C smells different toes it's in his over. nose. Oh my goodness, what a fight. <laughs> just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure <sighs> saw it coming, so. Let's see the reach. We go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official. Hmm. I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna try to do one more before my eyes give out on me. See how long the next one is, and then I'll do one or two more because my eyes are I'm burning out. <laughs> Whatever way class you want to do. I remember when these two fought, uh, Carolina and uh, me and Jacek. It was a great fight. Hey, my favorite, uh, everyone's favorite internet star, T page 12 gauge Van Zandt. This music in the background. I hope. Uh, All right, coming up next. Ah, uh, yes, I hope a this uh, recording doesn't get, get uh, and copyright. Because uh, if you want to watch these back, you know, follow my YouTube. I I post on edited versions on there. Sometimes I edit. Sometimes I don't. You ready? So. You ready? All right, DC, here we go with round one, and this one could get pretty interesting here early. The Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt taking on the decorated striker. Your thoughts on how this one might play out? I think you're going to see the striker fight at range. You're going to see her try to use her jab to keep her opponent away from her. Expect some front kick. Expect a lot of space creating strikes to make sure that she's not like engaging tools ready. in the Jiu-Jitsu. The moment this fight gets to the ground, she's constantly in oh. Her striking looks clean tonight, timing on point. Her timing on point, her accuracy's on point. She's very busy. She's in a good flow. Knee to the body. Moreau. Oh, she is such 
a diverse striker. That dad big strike landed, Damn. and it looks like she's going to be a clean fight. Oh, nice high kick. Big knee to the body. Oh, she landed another hook there. She's already landed massive takedown on Tiff Lane. Van Zant gets back up again. Nicely done. Oh, man, does she have the jab working tonight. Beautifully done on that exchange. She's got it going, and it's so fast and so accurate. She's really good at fight behind her jab. Oh, did she get tagged by that combination there? And unless they're going to give her headgear between rounds, she better start raising that guard. She's got to start doing something, but it's a testament to was her. Was it the last opponent. fight that Paige was in the UFC? So she got, she's I don't know if so she got tapped out, but armbar? Or is that no, well, she's really it all together on the feet, DC. I, I know she, I know she got tapped out quick she's in her last fight. Her hands, and this is why. All right, so her hooks have certainly been the big storyline in this one, DC. Give us a prediction. You think she goes back to it here? She's absolutely going to go back to it. When I look at her fight, I think of John Lineker, where he just throws hooks to the That's body, what I was trying to, to do. Head. She does a great job to do of the head. up the target. And now as the fight has progressed, expect her to try to really sit down on one and end the fight. Good stick. Van Zant's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. How about that chin? Leg kick. Oh, nice. Not there. And there she goes using her jab effectively yet again. Her opponent's got to raise that guard or this fight could end. Well, she's going to have to do something. I think she needs to move her head off the center line because hands go up. The nah. Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Ah, toes to the nose. No, but you're going to see with this young lady. Is she going to finish the fight? That's how you finish your fight. Oh, man. Hate to be hit with one of those knees to the body. Oh! Ah, uh, she went out on her shield. And just like that, the fight is over. Uh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Well, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right Kinda there. Like that. Absolutely flush on the land, and I'm not even okay. sure her opponent saw it coming. So sometimes it's the strike uh, you don't see one, coming uh, that spells your fate. One more. Here's no, my eyes are. Official decision. My eyes are shot. Ladies and gentlemen. Man, I wish. I wish I could stream longer today. Like another hour or so, my eyes can't handle it. Maybe another hour and a half. I wish. Uh, maybe next Friday. Well, th definitely next Friday, because. Yeah, trying to throw. <laughs> Still worked. Uh, Paige. She was one of my more uh, favorite fighters when she was in. She was interesting. Um, but yeah. Maybe I'll do a little bit longer of a, a stream uh, tomorrow. Uh, not tomorrow. Uh, next Friday. So, Dan Hooker. Let's go with Holloway, because I think that's going to be a fight in featherweight. Man, they need to do a Volkanovski in him again. I know he won the second fight. Hey, well, the hook knocked Paige on her ass, just like she's on, she is on her website. On her ass. Different ways. <laughs> Ready? Ready? I know. I'm, I know. I'm not going to use uh, Holloway correctly. This fight. I'm gonna try. 
but Dan and him, I think, are going to fight featherweight. You can hold up to this one. Good evening from T-Mobile Arena here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Opened April of 2016. UFC went there for the first time at UFC 200, and they've been bringing big shows seemingly every other month ever since. They call Vegas the fight capital of the world. And if you're... He's hurt! He's hurt! Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Oh, big knee! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Oh! Yeah. Just missed with the left there. Oh, I forgot he does that. Moving to his left now. On there. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Oh, big knee! Okay, okay, his height's some height on that. On that knee. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Okay. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Right. Oh! Back to the feet. Freaking oh. knee. DC headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hand. Oh. Okay. He's out. I know I was going to use Holloway, oh right? Goodness. Whatever. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it. Holloway's one of those people that almost everyone can extent. use. Nicely done to finish the fight. Is this easy to use? No speed, timing. He has the or, um, uh, Michael. It was great. Uh, it was great playing with you again uh, on Friday. Um, before I get off, uh, who do you have winning tomorrow? And why? I hope, I hope Bobby too, because the shit talking will be so much better. But um, if Bobby gets him, he's gonna get him early. He's gonna do so. He's gonna do some shit like he did against uh, Al. But if Islam can get a hold of him, of him the first two periods, I think it's gonna be like a Khabib fight, like a Khabib against uh, Johnson, that kind of that kind of uh, grueling one. Anybody else on this card that you know, uh, that you're familiar with, that that you think might uh, win? And it, and also, if you know more, uh, Ramon. Yeah, I think I've seen him before. And anybody else on on here uh, that might be your upset pick? The only other person I, I had on here earlier that I know is Priscilla. McKinney? All right. All right, McKinney. I've heard that name. 
Oh, what? Didn't he get like that seven second knockout or whatever in his first fight? All right, yeah. That was on the. I know it's. I know it was on the Izzy card. That's all I know. Um. But uh, yeah. All right. Well. I, I'm. I'm putting money on on Bobby winning. Uh. A first round knockout. But that, that's me. Am I gonna lose it? Probably. I never win. The only one I ever won on was a. Uh, was it, uh, oh shit, I dropped something. Uh, was Jan winning the title? Because I always bet Jan. <laughs> but, uh, Islam has been like that. All right, all right. So, yeah, uh, you know, let's go, let me Google his, uh, stats. I wish, I wish I can go for somewhat further, but it's only shown me his five in the UFC. I, it's only showing his last five, but all right, I'll take your word on it. But, um, thanks for stopping around, Mike. Hope you have a wonderful weekend. Thanks for kicking my ass some more and just messing around on here. Uh, giving the, the few people that watch this on YouTube something to listen and kind of watch and uh, critique me about. But thank you. Uh, I'll see you next Friday for Friday Night Fights if, you, uh, if you're going to come around right before the Kobe fight. Um, yeah. Or any other streams that you uh, join. But thank you. Have a good weekend, man.